What's up, what's up, what's up? It's that time of the show where we kind of give a shout out to our sponsors. The sponsor today is Anchor. Anchor is everything you need to create your own podcast. You can use Anchor to distribute your show. They'll kind of get it out for you. And all you have to do is do it from your cell phone or your microphone, however you want to do it. But if you want to get your voice out there, if you want to talk to the people, there's no better place to do it than Anchor. So download the, the app, Anchor, or go to their website, anchor.com. It'll distribute your platform. It'll distribute your podcast on all platforms. So again, Anchor. Welcome to another episode of You Can't Play Boxing Podcast, episode 12. We back. I mean, I know a lot of people have been like, man, it's summertime. Why y'all haven't been hitting us up with episodes? Well, the biggest thing is that it is summertime and it's not a lot of boxing going on. So I don't want to bore y'all with like a lot of boring stuff so you know we, we're gonna try to tap in more and do more like podcasts around like boxing news and things like that but um you know in the summertime you know boxing we don't have a lot of big fights we have fights kind of coming sporadic so um we'll try to be more consistent uh coming with some more boxing news um but for the most part in the fall you're definitely gonna get a lot of podcasts on a weekly basis um, probably even multiple times a week because we got a lot of big fights coming up. Um, we're going to tap into some of those things um, actually in this episode. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. So it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you, but I'm back here. Uh, quick news in boxing. Big thing uh, is going on in the heavyweight division. We got two big heavyweight fights that are coming up in the next six months. First big fight we're looking at, and it's been talked around, is that Anthony Joshua versus David Ruiz uh, rematch. Right now, they got a schedule for December 7th in Saudi Arabia. But... Anthony Joshua, that's what his promoter want to have in the Saudi Arabia because that's where they're supposed to have um, a big money offer. And not David Ruiz. I'm talking about Anthony Ruiz. <laughs> Anthony Ruiz is like, nah, man. I'm the, um, I'm the champion. I ain't going to Saudi Arabia unless you got the big bag. If you don't got the big bag, I ain't going to Saudi Arabia. So the fight is definitely going to be a rematch. Well, we, we think it's going to be a rematch. Because Anthony Joshua definitely has um, a rematch clause. But whether or not it's in Saudi Arabia or in Mexico or in the United States, that's to be seen. Um, but it's really it's really kind of shaping up to be one of the more anticipated fights, you know, in the next few months. I mean, can Anthony Joshua come back? Is he is he going to be OK? Is did he? Is he going to be able to erase the demons of losing in New York, losing his first? Because some people, when they lose their first fight, bro, like they don't never recover. Like mentally, they can't. They never saw themselves losing and losing all their belts. So it's going to be very interesting when that fight happens, uh, if it happens, how that kind of settles out. The next big rematch we got is Deontay Wilder versus um, Tyson Fury, too. Tyson Fury, he was on ESPN recently. He was talking about the fight is signed for February 22nd, which is actually a day after my birthday. Uh, It's signed for February 22nd as far as the rematch. Both Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury has fights before that. Uh, Deontay Wilder is supposed to fight Luis Ortiz maybe in November. And Tyson Fury is fighting um, this guy from Sweden or something next month in Las Vegas. So... It's a fight that uh, a lot of people are looking forward to. Some people had Tyson Fury winning their first fight. 
I had Deontay Wilder. Oh, I had it a draw myself. But, um, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to that fight. It's something that I think is, I mean, styles make fights. So I think this would be a good stylish fight. And again, this episode right here, um, it's going to be a quick hitter episode just to kind of get back out there. Um, now, one thing, if you guys have any sort of uh, questions you want to hit me up, hit me up on You Can't Play Boxing on Instagram. That's U C A N T P L A Y B O X I N G. Hit me up on Instagram. Also, you can um, email you can't play boxing at gmail.com. We'll read your listener um, emails on the, on the air. Um, you know, I really do want to shout out everybody who's been listening to the podcast. It's been growing exponentially. We got sponsors now. You know, your boy is coming up a little bit. Got sponsors. Um, and really want to just say thank you for fucking with me. Listen to the podcast. Um, you know, it's very humble. We're going to up the production quality on it. We're going to do a little things we got in the, in the, in the works, but uh, I just want to take time right now to kind of thank y'all for, for, um, you know, really fucking with the podcast. So after this short break, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about the upcoming boxing schedule. Then we're going to talk about the big Andre Ward, Sergey Kovalev classic fight recap. We're going to recap that fight from 2016. And I'll kind of give you my thoughts on it. You know, did I have Andre Ward winning that fight? Or did I have Kovalev winning that fight? You know, we'll kind of go through that. So stay tuned. We'll be back in one minute. All right. We back. We back. You Can't Play Boxing Podcast, episode 12. So right now, we're going to kind of step into what we talk about, some of the upcoming fights we got. Because uh, even though the summer's been kind of slow, um, the schedule is going to pick up a lot in the next few weeks. Uh, starting off, actually, with this weekend. This weekend in Russia, we got Sergey Kovalev, who we're going to talk about later. Um, with his, his fight we had was Andre Ward a few years ago. But Sergey Kovalev is fighting Anthony Yard for the WBO light heavyweight title. Um, that fight is going to be real interesting. Um, I, I'll probably tap in for a quick episode this weekend. I'm going to be traveling, but um, I'll try to tap in for this a quick a little episode for the Sergey Kovalev Anthony Yard fight. We'll tap into that. Um, but that's a big fight coming up this weekend. After that, on um. August 31st, we got a, a couple cool little fights. Um, one fight, we got Vasily Limachenko, you know, one of the pound for pound fighters. He fighting Luke Campbell uh, for Lomachenko's WBO and WBA and WBC lightweight title at 135. So, of course, I expect Lomachenko to win. He, he has all the skills. Um, but still, it'll be good to kind of see him in action. Uh, also, that same night, we got uh, Erislandi Ezra, Lara versus Raymond Alvarez. I expect Lara to win that fight. It's for a vacant interim junior middleweight title. The best fight, I think, on that card, this, this card is going to be happening next week in uh, Minneapolis on Fox. But we got Caleb Truax versus uh, Peter Quillen, a rematch. So, I'm looking forward to that. I like I like Peter Quillen. I think Caleb Truax is a good fighter. And that's for the super middleweight IBF um, eliminator. So I'm looking forward to that fight. And then, you know, in the next month, we also got, like I mentioned before, we got Tyson Fury on September 14th out of Las Vegas. He fighting Otto Wallen. And, um, you know, I expect Fury to win. Um but, you know, it's, it's boxing, it's heavyweight boxing, so you never know for sure. But uh, that's a fight. And then the biggest fight, which I will be at, happening next month in L.A., we got Sean Porter fighting Errol Spence in Los Angeles on pay-per-view. I'm going to be at that fight. Uh, also on the card, we got uh, Anthony Durrell fighting 
David Benavidez. So, uh, you know, the Spence versus Porter fight is for the IBF and WBC unification fight for both of those belts. And then we got uh, the Benavidez and Darrell fights for the WBC super middleweight title. So, uh, you know, in the next month, things are going to kind of heat up a little bit. Um, I'm really looking forward to that Errol Spence and Sean Porter fight. Uh, we won't really tap into that next month. Um, so, you know, that's what we got to kind of look forward to. So we're getting to the point of the episode where we're going to round out the episode. And the main topic on this episode is going to be a classic fight recap. The fight we're recapping is going to be Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev. So this fight took place in November 2016. At that point, both of the fighters were undefeated. Andre Ward was coming up from 168. He had a couple fights at 175, but he was fairly new to the division. Kovalev was at that point known as the boogeyman, known as somebody that you scared of. You know, he had that knockout. He got that power that knocks at least everybody down. A lot of people felt Dre wasn't going to be ready for it. They thought he couldn't really mess with Andre Ward. I mean, with uh, Kovalev's power. And some people, to be truthful, they felt that HBO kind of set up Andre Ward for a loss. They wanted him to lose, you know, because Kovalev was the boogeyman. And they said, okay, we're going to give you a bunch of money, but you got to fight Kovalev because they want to see him lose. That's, that's kind of what some people felt like. So anyway, you know, the fight took place in the T-Mobile arena. One of the first fights that took place in that arena as far as boxing-wise. Um, had a cool little crowd. It was on pay-per-view. And um, really became a classic. I mean, to this day, some people believe Kovalev won. Some people believe Andre Ward won. I'm going to kind of dive into who I felt won the fight and uh, give you my reasons why and kind of give you my, you know, round by round or breakdown with, with the fight. So in the first couple rounds of the fight, especially round one, Dre was kind of boxing him, but you could look at him. You could tell he's kind of tentative. Um, Kovalev was hitting him with some jabs, stiff jabs that kind of knocked Dre back. So you can look at his face and like, oh, man, he's like, oh, shit. This, this dude really does hit hard, you know what I mean? And Dre was, he was, as far as strategy-wise, he was fighting great. But Kovalev just had that, the stiff jabs that he couldn't really, he couldn't get used to at that time. So the first round I gave it to Kovalev. Second round is where we saw a little fireworks, man. Um, Dre, same thing. Kovalev was hitting him with um, straight jabs that were stiff. Dre was still trying to box him. Kovalev caught him with a counter that sent Dre down. And that's like one of Andre Ward's first time, well, his second time in his career being dropped. So you can look at, you know, you look at that part and that's a pivotal moment because you got to think about it. Dre hadn't been down since like years earlier. He had never lost. He's in a big pay-per-view fight and he knows he's probably down on points. I mean, because at that point I had Kovalev up, you know, 20 to 17 because with the knockdown and him winning, the first round, you know, he got three point lead. I got Kovalev winning round four. I mean, round three. So you look at the three rounds. Kovalev is up four points. Round four is what I think is the pivotal round as far as how you score in this fight. Some people gave that round to Kovalev. I can see how you possibly could, but if you watch that round closely. Dre started scoring. He started hitting him, hitting Kovalev with some shots. And he, to me, he hit him with some shots and was active enough to where he took that round. And that was the first round where I kind of saw him kind of say, okay, I'm settling down a little bit. And then round five is where I, I felt he, yeah, he really settled down. Like, okay, this dude is not scary like he should be. Because I think he run round five. I think uh, 
Then after round six, I had Kovalev win round six. But so after the first half of the fight, just for the record, I had the score. I had the um, the fight score. Andre Ward fifty five, Kovalev fifty eight. So Kovalev had a three point, you know, advantage after the first six rounds. Round six, seven, and eight, I felt Dre start taking the momentum and start knowing, okay. I can fuck this dude up. He started hitting Kovalev with body shots. Kovalev, you can see on his face, he became a little disturbed. And uh, after round nine, just for the record, I have the fight score 85-85 because Dre won six, seven, and eight. I mean, he won seven, eight, nine on my um, scorecard. Round 10 was Kovalev's best round in the second half. And uh, in that round, I have Kovalev winning that. So going into the championship rounds, I got it 95 to 94. Round 11, I gave that to Andre Ward. And then round 12, you know, at that point, if I gave that to Andre Ward, the fight is tied up 104-104. And so round 12 is the pivotal round. Whoever wins that round on my scorecard wins the fight. And to me, in that 12th round, I think Dre did enough to win. He was connecting with some solid shots. Kovalev was too. But I gave that round to Dre. And so on my scorecard, on a controversial fight that some people had scored for Kovalev, but I had Andre Ward winning that fight 114 to 113, the same scores that all three judges had it at. Um, again, I can see how you can have it maybe Kovalev 114, 113, maybe even Kovalev 115, 112, if you just gave him every benefit of the doubt. But it was a classic fight. I, I gave Dre that fight. And of course, we know in the second round, I mean, in the second go round, that um, Kovalev lost, you know, so like six months later. So that was the classic fight rerun uh, recap. Remember, if you got any sort of like comments or you got your own how you scored the fight, or if you want to say that I scored the fight like fucked up, like feel free to you know, stop, you know leave a comment on uh, you can't play boxing on Instagram. That's U C A N T P L A Y B O X I N G. On um, Instagram, and of course, you can email at you can't play boxing. That's y o u c a n t p l a y b o x i n g at gmail.com. So, next episode, we're gonna do a classic fight rewind too. We're gonna do the the Floyd Mayweather versus uh, Castillo, the first fight. And um, again, like I said, I'll try to stop in. I'll try to give like a little preview of the uh, Kovalev versus Anthony Yara fight before it happens this weekend. So until next time, man, tap in, support the sponsors, and remember, man, you can't play boxing. Oh!